Oftentimes in my yoga practice, especially when I was first beginning, I really didn't like it. And I didn't like it because the world came with me onto my mat rather than me and my mat together to learn about myself. I was bringing the whole world with me, thinking about all the things I needed to do, why I needed to do them, um, the inconvenience of being even at, at my yoga studio practicing yoga. And I didn't like it because I didn't like the way that I felt about me. Is that interesting? So let's talk about these yoga oils and, and what they do. And they come beautifully packaged like this. And um, then you can buy them individually. But I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to talk about it. So the very first one is Anchor. And anchor is something that you want to anchor with. It's your first essential oil. And what I do is I actually put these on at the very beginning of my practice. And here's how I do it. I want to anchor in with this very rich, cinnamony kind of flavor, my intention. And so what I do before I start my practice is I drop a drop on my finger, okay? And then I rub it in. And I rub it on the back of my neck. And when I do that, I create my intention. Okay. And then I will rub it over my heart. And then I set my intention. And I set my intention for my practice of what do I want to uncover today? What do I want to experience today? What, what exactly am I on my mat for today? right? Maybe I need more peace. Maybe I need to um, be forgiving, right? Maybe I need to be less judgmental of myself and maybe those around me. <laughs> Everybody has something different, but I want to anchor in that intention for blocking out the whole world and coming just me, my soul, and this practice, this beautiful practice. And so that is what I do with that. You can also apply this to the bottom of your feet. All right, everyone's different and they come to their different spaces with it. The next one is called a line. And this is actually a really, really lovely um, aroma. <clears throat> and it's a little bit brighter. It's got a little bit of citrus in it. And so again, I'm gonna apply that to, the bot to my hand. It took two drops this time because I do want to put this on the bottom of my feet. So I'm just gonna go rub that on my feet and I'm gonna do that both feet. And so I'm going to um, just apply that to my toes and get some of that goodness in there. And I'm going to um, then again, presume my position. And then this is where I take both of these aromas, rub them in my hands, breathe in and then start my breath work a little bit. This, so this is all pre my yoga practice, all right? So then the last one that I do, that this is my favorite. I, the citrus in it is amazing. And so I, I love to do this, it's a rise. And this is an absolute need for me because it helps me be so happy and so much brighter and so much willing to be here. And so what I do with this one is um, I just drop it in my hands. I like three drops, okay? And I am going to apply that again to the back of my neck, to the bottoms of my feet, rub it in, breathe in, and I'll rub it over my belly, okay? And this is going to help me rise up in my day, rise up and seize the day. Anything emotional that I need to take care of and clear the space for, like I said, am I coming with judgment? Am I coming needing to forgive? Am I needing to come accepting? But I'm gonna rise up and I'm gonna meet that day. And so then you can go on with your practice but what I have found that some of these are really lovely when I'm going into real creative study mode and I have to um, realign. Maybe there's something in my day that's just not quite right. Maybe I wake up and I'm not feeling amazing and I need a little bit of a nudge and it doesn't matter what I do. I can use them when I go walking. I can use them when I go for a hike. I can go use them when I go for a bike ride. It doesn't matter what form of fitness I choose. I can still use all of these with the same intention because I'm a really big fan of creating daily rituals, things that you do on a regular basis. And the first thing I do in the morning is set my intention. It's the very first thing I do. I open my eyes and I create my day. 
How, what am I going to, what's my intention for today? What good am I going to create? What, what, what am I going to learn from the beautiful people that come into my space and um, be open and be teachable? So welcome to doTERRA's yoga collection. I hope that you will find it amazing and really be able to get that steadying and that calming and that energetic enlightening um, beauty into your world. If you love Golden Drop, and you like what you've seen here today, please subscribe, click the button, ding, ding. <laughs>